Hello Shopify developers, there is big news. Okay, guess what? Shopify launched another React framework. It's called Hydrogen. If you're a developer building e-commerce sites, storefronts, using Shopify as a backend, then Hydrogen is for you. Okay, so Hydrogen is a new React-based web development framework to build custom storefronts powered by Shopify and is now available in developer preview. So let's take a look. Okay, I'm on the Hydrogen website and this is quite beautiful design, huh? You can, if you don't like the expressive look, you can turn it off here, but I love it. Okay, so put that back on. Okay, so let's take a look. Hydrogen's React-based framework for building custom storefronts. It's fast, build fast, and personalized shopping experiences. So there are two buttons, and there is a demo on Stack Blitz. You can check it out. Let's take a look. It's installing the dependencies. So there you go. So there is a connected storefront and you can change it with your own custom storefront. Okay, there are some links, some products and it's almost a complete storefront, right? And you can check it out here on Stack Bullets, but I want to see the building blocks, right? So I'm going to go with the npx create hydrogen app command. Let's open my terminal and go to projects and in there I want to create a new hydrogen app and hit enter. Okay, install the dependencies. Uh huh, it's asking for the project name and let's call it Starfront. And it was fast, right? <laughs> it was instant. Okay, let's open Visual Studio Code. Whoop. Okay, what's inside? There is white, we know white. White is a build tool that improves the developer experience, front-end developer experience. And with white, you can create Vue.js, React applications, or vanilla JavaScript applications. So, so Hydrogen uses white because it's quite fast, I think. And also for server-side rendering. Okay, so what the fuck? <laughs> it has Tailwind as styling choice. It's an awesome choice. Okay, we love Tailwind, so Shopify loves Tailwind too. So this is why Tailwind is located in this folder, right? It has the um, default team and the typography plugin in it. Okay, JIT mode is also enabled. So Hydrogen uses Tailwind as a default styling option, but it's not gonna force you to use Tailwind, right? Okay, it has white support and Tailwind as styling choice. What else? It has a server JS. Okay, there is an index.html file. Okay, there is Docker. This is for production. Let's close it and inside the source folder, there are components. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is too much. This project is a bare bone hydrogen app, but it has tons of components <laughs> inside. Okay, there is currency selector. This is a storefront application and it has everything that it might need to build a storefront application, right? There are cart icons, cart provider, Okay, Hydrogen provides you all of the components, the hooks, and everything that you need for your next custom storefront application. This is why there are 
tons of components and what the fuck some of the components are ending with client extension and some of them are ending with dot server extension and of this from somewhere this might be okay let me guess this is react server components <laughs> okay hydrogen uses react server components it must be really fast, right? So footer is a server component and gallery is a client component. Close this one and... Okay, uh, how does it handle the routing? Because I'm, I'm really a big fan of Next.js routing and let's take a look. How does it handle it? Okay router there is uh -huh, it uses react router dump as a routing option and it also has express server in it i kind of love it let's start this application and there is the readme okay how do we get started hydrogen is a react framework okay getting started we have not what is my node version? Yeah, it's okay. Um, I don't have the yarn, but yarn dev. What if we don't have the yarn? <laughs> okay, let's open package.json and let's see the scripts and npm install. It's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. It must work, right? Okay, we're installing the dependencies and later I will run npm run dev. And, <clears throat> and let's hope it works. Because I don't use yarn, okay? I'm not gonna use yarn. Okay, it's done. Let's run npm run dev. Localhost three thousand. Waiting for it. Okay, it's loaded. So this is a bare bone application you created with Create Hydrogen app, right? And it's quite impressive. This is a complete storefront, and I think it's connected to a Shopify backend, and these products are coming from there. As you know, Shopify uses GraphQL, so. There must be some GraphQL queries in the source code. Okay, the index server. We have the gradient background here. There is GQL. And here are the queries for these products. And I just know description, title, image, and the products that you see on, on, okay, on here. So really, there is nothing to worry about right now because this is co completely new and it's in developer preview right now. So you can just go ahead and try it out. As a last step, let's take a look at the hydrogen documentation. Um, yeah, here are the docs. Shopify is a front-end web development framework used for building Shopify custom storefronts. It's okay. It has a structure, components, and the tooling you need to get started so you can spend your time styling and designing features. Okay, it's awesome. The benefits, uh, Hydrogen is a Shopify's recommended, of course, and opinionated, of course, effort to building creative and dynamic commerce experiences. Hydrogen offers a starter template we just saw it. That provides an approachable path to building Shopify custom storefronts. Okay, and it also has a full purchase journey out of the box. Okay, this is great. I didn't know that. The starter template is styled using Tailwind CSS, and this is also awesome. And Hydrogen Framework. We can change the style of it real quick. And let's change the gradient 
background. I saw, I saw it here. From grey, 50. From purple, 800. So that we can see the change. Okay, it's it happened, right? It wasn't like this. And it and it kind of fits. I love it. Okay, I did it great. I love it. I love the new design. <laughs> Do you? Okay. Continue with the documentation and it has built-in cache and control, server-side rendering because it uses white, server-side rendering to optimize the initial load, React server components, and opinionated data fetching and rendering flow for React apps. So with React server components, components render fast, which allows you to see your work instantly as you're building it. Awesome. It has Tailwind, it has white support, and it has the React server components, so it's absolutely fast. It integrates directly with the Shopify storefront API for efficient data fetching, and they're ready to use. Okay, Hydrogen includes white plugin that offers server-side rendering and hydration middleware. So for the routing, it uses React router down. We saw it before. The components, hooks, and utilities are ready. It has React router, hydration middleware coming from white, and server-side rendering coming from white plugin. And what else? Data is coming from the storefront API. So this is a complete picture. Data is coming from the storefront API, Hydrogen takes it, and it has components, hooks, utilities ready, ready to build a storefront application. And there is a pages index server.jsx, and it's done. And this is a complete application. You can see the demo here. Okay, finally, the limitations and the considerations. Hydrogen can only be used to build Shopify web storefronts. Currently, Hydrogen doesn't support building other types of custom storefronts, including mobile apps, video games, and smart devices. So I'm telling you, Hydrogen isn't a React framework. It's a React framework for building Shopify storefronts. It's a Shopify React framework. If you're not going to use Shopify as a backend, then there is no need to use Hydrogen. You can go ahead and use another server-side option as Next.js. But if you're going to use Shopify, so this is Shopify way of doing it. Hydrogen is the Shopify way of building Shopify storefronts. Okay, guys, this was it for this video. Hope you have an idea of what Hydrogen is and what it is capable of right now. Shopify is still working on Hydrogen, so there is nothing to worry about it too much right now. But as you can see, it's awesome. So go ahead and try it out. Okay, bye.